Hey guys, this is Barry Guy 88 and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. This is episode 37, and this game is brought to you by GameEdingWorld.com. Last episode, uh, something happened in the uh, Pokemon Square. Something about uh, all Gazam Team not coming back from being ground on. So uh, we didn't get chosen to go down there underground. So we have to do this boring mission. Yeah, that's right. To recall, we have to, we uh, got a mission from Why Not End. Whoa, what's going on? That yeah, says that we gotta deal with some mankeys. Oh wow, this sounds very irritating. Ah oh, no! Oh man! Yep, the sandstorm was actually hurting us. Oh, this sucks. No! Oh! Yeah, the thing about that is that, uh... Sandstorm is actually an attack that changes the weather. And, uh, the only one that's not affected and not gonna get damaged are ground, rock, and steel-type Pokémon, which none of us are, so that's not fair! Ugh. And it doesn't even make any sense. Why is there even sandstorm in a forest? Okay, Dad, that's that's that that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Come on, don't not another sandstorm. Not another sandstorm. Oh, thank goodness. Ugh. But oh well, I guess I haven't talked about it. Certain attack. There are certain attacks that changes the weather, and then some Pokemon benefit from it and some don't. There's a uh, uh, weather that can make it rain. That's good for water Pokemon like me, for example, but bad for fire type Pokemon. And also makes attacks much more accurate. Like, it, when it's raining, Thunder, the attack Thunder would be it hit 100% of the time, while uh, Solar Beam has to require more charging, I believe. I don't remember exactly. But when it's sunny, then, uh, you can use attacks like Sunny Day for one turn, and it increases the attack on fire Pokemon, and less, less is the attack on water Pokemon. I hope I explained that very well. I, I believe that's how that uh, weather system works. There's also other weather conditions like ice, like hail, that's good for ice Pokemon. That's much like Sandstorm, where it hurts any Pokemon except for ice Pokemon. I believe that's it. Uh, yeah. I could be wrong about that, but yeah, anyway. But yeah, it, who, who thinks it doesn't make sense that there should be sandstorm in the forest? I certainly do. I'm raising my hand up first. Yeah, that's right, everyone. Raise your hand if you agree that there should be no sandstorm in the forest. Okay, I can't see any of you, so uh, I guess I don't know if your hands are raised or not, but so I'm going to assume that everybody is. So, girl, I'm always right. Okay, anyway, what was I talking about? No, well, yeah, uh, this place is obviously not very difficult. If you have a fire-type Pokemon, this is gonna be a breeze. All you gotta do is, they're all just like grass-type Pokemon here. Yes, it's raining! That means my attack power should go up! Yes! My, all my water attacks should be, uh, stronger. But it doesn't matter because I easily got through that floor. So, that means absolutely nothing! That's just a life. But anyway, uh, but don't worry, I'm gonna learn an attack. That, that I can use to make it rain anytime I want. I, I believe I should be able to learn it this adventure, or I'm not, but I know I might learn it eventually. It's called Rain Dance, and I can use that to make it rain anytime I want. But anyway, what was I talking about? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I was talking about the Hub World Force and how easy this is. Because, yeah, it is very easy, because we've definitely gotten a lot stronger. We face a lot more harder places than this, obviously. So yeah, this is pretty much going to be a breeze. It's only 10 floors long. Only has grass type Pokemon. Fire Pokemon, it makes it a breeze. Even if, even though I'm a water Pokemon and it just doesn't hurt them that much, it doesn't matter because it hurts them in one hit anyway. Girl! But yeah, if, oh, if you're wonder, also wondering about the recruiting Pokemon thing, you probably don't care about that, but it doesn't matter. Yes, one last floor. Absol's pretty much going to be the only person we're going to take with us at all. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely higher trained than everybody else, so yeah. We're not going to use anybody else. So I hope hope you uh, hope everyone's not going to be too bored. Oh look, there's the Mankeys that we're supposed to take care of. Oh no, no, it's not actually. They're just regular Mankeys that are very easy to, to defeat. But man, I, I wonder if the Mankeys that we're all supposed to deal with is much stronger than this because this is not impressing me very much. 
but I'm sure they are going to be harder. I mean, they, you meet them at the very end. They're like bosses, so I'm sure they're going to be very difficult. That's why I bought all those revival seats for, right? Because uh, we might actually die sometimes. <laughs> all right, especially uh, Absol, since he's a dark type Pokemon, and dark is weak against fighting type Pokemon. All right, here we are. We're at the final destination, and there's our target. <laughs> what is it, you? We don't like to brag or nothing, but we get very easily easy. You know that. What really irritates us is when we see some dim-witted face. Ex whoa, good. That's insulting. Excuse me. Roar! That vacant expression. Roar! It's taking me off. I'm seeing red. Get it. It's fury time. All right, let's get into the most difficult battle here. Let's deal with these super powerful bankies. Yeah, let's go and get them, get them right now, girl. I hope, I hope we brought up uh, revival seats for this, but I'm sure we'll be ready. Girl, what the heck? They go down with one hit? Oh yeah, yeah, they're actually enemy mankeys. They have like no stat increases at all. They're just regular mankeys. How disappointing. Okay, bye bye there, guys. That was. Okay, I think I hyped them up way too much. Alright, we won. Back we promised, we showed the Mankey Gay they shouldn't monkey around. That's very lame there, Seal. That was your teeth demolition. Everyone, thank you for everything, really. What about that? Yes, we're filled with gratitude. This is our thanks. Yeah, we get a peeled chestnut. Okay, where's the real reward? Thank you for playing around there, so show us what the real reward is. Yes. A peeled chestnut? Yes, it's a peeled chestnut. Okay. You see, we... Don't have any money. What the? We did all that for nothing? Wow, a fact. So we can only give you a chestnut as our reward. Are you unhappy? Oh, I sure am. We... <laughs> okay, don't nut me there, uh, Seal. Uh... No! <laughs> We're fine with this! Seriously, that nothing thing is getting annoying. <laughs> Here, check your foundation! I think it's... they're great! Hahaha! <laughs> uh, money would be nice. Yeah, you know what I'm saying there, Seal. <laughs> uh, who was that? Hey, yo! Aw, oh, no! The Maxi Gang! Oh, man! They're gonna beat us up again! Or not? Well, I'm offended? The Maxi Gang! Did they think us here to get us back? Yeah, I'm really scared. Okay, no I'm not, I'm done playing around. That's right, you! You got lucky! You don't mess with us! We're not gonna lose this time! We'll pulverize you! Yeah! Crash down! Oh no, we're gonna fight right now, no! Oh, actually I'm not scared, we beat them all very easily again. Well, look at that! But seriously, why do they stop? J chestnut! It is! And the feel chestnut! What? What? Whisper, whisper, whisper. Murder, murder. You know we can't hear you. What are they doing? Uh, okay. They look like they're having a discussion. That's clearly obvious. They're a uh, little why not person. Well, I'm a fan. What's going on? Uh, listen. You got something we want? That feel just that you have. Can we have it? We, uh, love peeled chestnuts. Like, we love them so much, we can't think of a life without chestnuts. I can't think someone's a tad bit obsessed, but whatever. You can't get chestnuts on your own. You know how chestnuts have that spiky shell? Trying to peel that spiky shell. It hurts. And we end up losing our tempers. That's why we're asking, give us that peeled chestnut. We'll do whatever you want. Hmm, hey guy, what do you think? Should we give up here, trick that to the Mankey Gang? Yeah, sure, why not, if he gives us to leave us alone. I know! Listen, Mankey Gang, how are you at uh, with physical labor? Uh, what are you thinking there, Seal? Physical labor? You mean muscle work? We have muscles. You do? I don't see any, but okay. But we don't like work. But if it's for that feel just that. Okay, this is what we'll do. We're going to make our rescue base something more impressive than this. Rescue team base? That's right. Our rescue team base. If you help us with building the uh, rescue team base, we can give you this field chestnut. 
I just asked them. Ooh, very sneaky there, Seal. Whisper, 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 whisper. Okay, they're making some annoying sounds there. Okay. Really? You want help us? Yeah, leave it to us. We'll carry in the materials and get the place built. Double quick. In return. Hand over the field, Chester. Oh, look, there's got to be. Me too, I'll help too. Hold that thought, everyone. All right, that's the end of episode 37. Stay tuned for episode 38 when we continue this scene. All right, this is Every Guy 88. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye, guys. Girl.